This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational, and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers, to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can, what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. Is, is that what's over there? Oh, okay. How can I, like, go to that door? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, who are you looking for? Who? I have no idea. Show you, like, a picture of him or something? Because the guy who used to live there died. Oh, gotcha. Oh, right there. there. Huh? He's leaving right now. No, that's my father-in-law. Oh, okay. Does, does he have, like, a... Uh, I'm just going to show you a picture of who I'm talking about here. If, um, if it's the wrong one, then. Here, let me show you, ma'am. Is, is, this, is this the neighbor right here? Um, if you could tell. Okay. So no one actually lives there. Oh, so no one lives in that house right there? Uh, that, this one? Yeah. That one's my father-in-law's house. Yeah, is your... Okay. Okay, is it like your father-in-law here? No. No, it's, it, it's not uh, this guy with the beard? No. Okay. Do you like know who he is by chance or? No, not at all. Okay. Um, you mind if you want to wait a second? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, got you.
I'm looking for an individual by the name of a, I believe this is you right here. So I have your messages to Emily that I need to talk to you about and Lisa, okay? I know you use a fake name on Instagram, that so if we could just have a conversation, I'd appreciate it, okay? We're not here to screw you over and we're filming for safety reasons. We're not here to hurt you or anything like that. But, you know, we do have your Facebook, I'm sorry, Instagram and Telegram messages, okay? So mind if we go over them? Okay, uh, is there a way we can just get through here somehow? Uh, yeah, the gate's not locked. Okay, so we can we can come in. Yep. But I don't have nothing to. No, okay. No, that's fine. Yeah. All right. And you do know who I'm referring to, right? Huh? You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Emily and Lisa. No. Okay, but that's your Instagram, right? And that's your face. That's my face. Yep. Yeah. That okay. Fine. Okay, we'll go over it. Cool. Start live. I don't think she's still on, dude. I think it was from a distance, dude. Because he's... It's him. Where'd you go? Yeah, no, I got it, I got it. Um, do you have your phone on you? Yeah. Let's just say this, it's very bad news. Come in this gate, ma'am, here. Uh, okay. What are you doing? You guys can't... Yeah, uh, how do we get in? Go for it. Um, he was about to leave, too. Yeah. Can I ask what's happening? Uh, yes, ma'am. So, basically, he's been messaging some young ladies on the internet. I believe that's... I recognize her. So, he's been messaging some girls online that he shouldn't be messaging that are 11 and 9 years old and pretty, pretty graphic stuff, I'd say. So, what's his name, by the way? Yeah. Jesus Christ. He has a dog, he maybe put his dog up. Okay. So we can come in the gate. It's open. Yeah, he said it's open. He's, hey, look at it. There's no yeah, box yeah, he gave us permission to come in. Yeah. Um wait. Nah. Yeah, How do you get this thing out? Jeez Louise. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Why? Okay. Got anything on the ground there? Anything? <gasps> oh, my God. That's what going all right. Okay. Yeah, and we're just filming just so you can be assured we're not here to steal nothing or hurt you like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Might have turned the light on. Do what? Might have turned the light on. Okay, yeah, someone get the light. Okay, cool. Okay. So I have a pretty lengthy messages to Lisa and Emily here that I need to talk to you about, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so between you and them, and you know, I have your picture and everything, okay? So I understand you use the name online. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was just to stay anonymous? Uh, just, yeah, yeah, basically. Okay, and this is your Instagram, or at least one of your Instagram names at one point? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can confirm, like, you know, at least with the messages and on Telegram, like I have your QR code and stuff like that. So the messages on Telegram, Instagram, you remember sending those back and forth? Not on Telegram, no. Okay, just on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that was with Emily and Lisa. L Emily was more recent, Lisa was a little bit ago. Yeah, I don't know, I don't remember, to be honest with you. Okay. I a lot of people. Okay, got you. So, with Emily and Lisa, they both mentioned that they were nine and 11 years old, mm -hmm. um, those two. And on your following list, there's quite a few young ladies under 18 and everything like that, all right. Is that it's just like, it's just conversations with them, nothing else really? I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, I just figured, you know, on Instagram, everybody's fake. You know. Okay, so, so so it's just messaging. You're just screwing around, just messaging people back and forth? Right. yeah. Okay. And that's what happened with Emily and Lisa here, is just messaging and whatnot? Yeah. Okay, what, what do you do for work, by the way? How'd you get... Um, okay, nice. Did you, like, serve or anything? No. Uh -uh. Okay. Well, uh, see so you've got a good family here. Your daughter seems... Is that your daughter that's over there? daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law. Cool, cool, yeah. 
pretty solid family you'll have. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, no, I mean, looking at your Instagram, I mean, you definitely, you take the kids to school and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, not school, no. Okay, but to events and whatever. You're pretty involved in yeah, their life. Rodeos and things like that, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, great nieces, great nephews. Nice. Uh, my grandkids, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I've never had that uncle in my life, so I mean, it'd be, definitely be cool to have it. But yeah, no, I see you're involved in everything, like taking to volleyball and whatnot, or no. basketball games at the school, or some no, sporting I, I events. Don't, I, I don't go to school events. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, know. you just like go around, just like other events, like re recreational stuff? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so with Lisa here, um, I believe she followed you on Instagram and then I think you just got curious and messaged her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, obviously I know you've been on Instagram for a few years. Um, have you met anybody off of Instagram, like in person? No. Okay. So all it's just been is messaging. Yes. Okay. So even when it gets to stuff like maybe sexual messaging, all that's all it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with Lisa and Emily, the sexual messaging was the farthest that it was taken. Like, rather than meet them in person, it was just flirting back and forth? Mm -hmm. well, okay. Yeah. yeah okay. I, you know, I mean, because I figure, you know, most of it is, I figure most of that is other guys. Mm hmm Yeah. I see. Well, anyway, here you say, thank you for the likes. And she says, hi, no problem. I love the pictures. You say yours also. So, I mean, this was before you 100% newer age. So I think it was more of just a cute profile online that you hit up. Is that more accurate? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There's more pics of me. I'm Lisa. Blah, 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 blah. So then she mentioned that she was nine years old. Um, I, I guess I got to ask, I mean, I know you didn't go to meet her or anything, but why the conversation continue after nine years old? I think I remember asking her, you know, about the age difference mm -hmm. and just her response and the way she was typing. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was bull. Oh, okay. I, you remember calling her like a smart girl? Maybe. Okay. So you remember Lisa specifically based on how she would type? Well, it was just, it's, it was more of an adult uh -huh. type of conversation, I guess, as far as compared to talking to like my nine or 10 year old mm -hmm. nephew mm -hmm. and how they speak and type and things like that. So I figured, hey, you know, this is an adult and they're just you know, playing this way. Okay, got you. So, I mean, the age, the age was dropped before the conversation really started. So, was it more of just, since she was okay with texting, that's why you texted back? Was it kind of, you let her kind of bleed it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, at least at that point, you know, whatever she was, you just assumed that, you know, a nine-year-old was texting you and you were just texting back because she was like curious or something like that? I, I, I assumed that they were not nine because there, I get, I got a lot of, inquiries and things you know and, and when you find out these people they're they're not mm. what age they are you know gotcha so there's been like other people that have messaged you saying like oh i'm like some some young lady under 18 claiming to be under 18 and right just... and, and they turn out that they're not i'm sorry mm -hmm. okay so how many, uh, what's like a ballpark number of the amount of people that have like messaged you online claiming to be some young age under 18? Oh man, a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. And of the conversation. Yeah, I mean, and there's a lot of them that are, um, you know, a woman here, da, 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 and it turns out to be a man. Oh yeah. You know, and I just figured that that's probably what this was. Okay, so there've been like, and so with those people that, and that's just been like over the years, like all these, young ladies under 18 you're claiming to be under 18 just would message you a bunch of shit, and that's just been going on for a few years now mm -hmm. okay and with the conversation with them i mean have you met any of them in person no, no. okay so the farthest has gone with those young ladies at least claiming to be under 18 is just talk back and forth and that's about it mm -hmm. okay and similar stuff like you know just maybe exchanging nudes with each other and nothing farther than that mm -hmm. okay so when nudes were exchanged with these young ladies at least claiming to be under 18, was it mainly you just sending your p***s over and over or was it them sending nudes too? Was it like a mutual thing or was it more of a forced thing on your end? No, it was both. Okay, so they would send you nudes as well, not just you. Okay, so it was two ways. And, and were these girls at least claiming to be like what, like 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, around those ages, at least claiming to be? Probably, yeah, the, I guess they were probably claiming that. Okay. But, you know, you could tell by pictures that were received. Okay. So when they, when they would send you the nudes, that's when you'd, like, question their age? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I bet the boys chase you everywhere or whatever. So, I mean, it looks like some nice flirting here when you say, oh, thank you, mean people suck. And you said, what would you want with a man my age? So, I mean, it seems here like, you know, you were really letting her decide whether the conversation would continue with this nine-year-old Lisa. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hope things can change. Yes, you're really young to have heartache. And she says, because of my age, I'm only nine years old. Um, it's good you have a grandma to take care of you and your sister take care of things will go better. I mean, you, you know, there's obviously some people that message immediately like, oh, send me this or else I'm going to spread this everywhere. I mean, it seems like you're genuinely curious about her life and whatnot. I mean, is it, it seems like you're more of a mentor type. No, just trying to, because like I said, I mean, you get so many people that are fake out there. Uh -huh. I was just kind of seeing what responses would be. Yeah, got you. So why do you call yourself Because you live out here or? Yeah. Okay, got you. Are you a Dallas Cowboys fan? Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Well, who's your favorite player? My favorite player? Yeah. It's probably going to be Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman? Or Emmett Smith. Or who? Emmett Smith? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Not Jason Garrett. 94, Thanksgiving yeah. Day. Had the best performance well, of all I mean, time. Yeah, I mean, I've just... He outgunned never... Brett Favre on Thanksgiving Day. No, well, I know, but, you know, I've never been... So you ain't going to miss him on the sidelines? No. you got to understand, Jason Garrett, he's controlled opposition for the Cowboys. He intentionally went to the Giants and screwed up their offense just so the Cowboys can win. Yep. How is that not your favorite player? He's just not. Okay, you know what? Notify the authorities now because he doesn't like Jason Garrett. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay. And you mentioned that you were in like... Mm -hmm. Okay, what, so what is this? It's like kind of confused here. Just a little town. Okay, got you. That's it. How, so how long have you lived in Nigeria uh, for? Oh, pretty much all my life. Yeah, you, you were born here and... Okay, you like it better out here? Yeah. Yeah, why is that? Oh, I've just... I've lived in... Pretty much all my life. I mean, I was born in... But mm -hmm. Pretty much everything was here. Got you. So at first, you know, pictures were exchanged between you two. You remember her sending stuff like this, maybe like smiles. Did Lisa ever send you any nudes? Man, I don't remember. Okay. I don't believe so, but this is, you know, you remember she would just send you pics like this, okay. like just, just selfies like that. Does that ring a bell? The face does, yeah. Okay, got you. So she said, oh, cute dimples, thank you. So it was just more of compliments like, oh, you're cute, you're this, you're that, is okay. Just like what his father would probably say to his daughter or something like right. that. Right. You know, you're cute. Well, but what I'm saying though is there's so many people out there that send you things that they get off the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot you of know. fakes. Yeah, a lot of fakes. And you're stuff. just kind of curious. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Okay, then you mentioned your. Then you did say you look really young, and she said, I'm nine years old. So, I mean, you know, whether you ended up blocking her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why did you end up blocking her? Because I figured she was fake. Okay. So when did you start figuring she was fake? Because at first, you know, it was mentioned, you look really young. And she said, I'm nine years old. Hope that's not a problem. Then you're like, oh, my, I have grandkids your age. So obviously the conversation maybe started to escalate a little bit with Lisa. Just online, at least. Do you remember that? Which one is Lisa? Lisa's the one that I just showed you the picture of her. Oh, okay. That you went on Telegram with. I mean, honestly, I don't. You know, I, I don't remember exactly what it was. But like I said, it's the way that she was texting mm -hmm. or the person was texting. I thought, oh, yeah, okay, you're an adult. And you're probably trying to do something. Right. You know, so. And that's what, and that's what caused you to block? Yes. Okay, got you. So, so at first, you know, obviously, when the texting started, this was long before the conversation started where she appeared, in your words, smart. So, at first, when you said you look really young, because before she says her age, she says I'm nine years old, she's like, oh my, I have grandkids your age. And you give the face palm, so it's like, I think it was more, were you just thinking like, why is she on this app? You know, like this. Oh, oh yeah, probably so. Well, you know, okay. the Cowboys lose, you know, we yeah. do that. Yeah. Face palm. <laughs> do a lot of face palms over the years then, the playoffs. Yeah. That's right. Oh my, I have grandkids your age. So, uh, it's safe to say at that point, I believe that 
And that's before it escalated at all to anything. At that point, you know, when you said, I have grandkids your age, it's safe to say you assume she was nine years old then before the whole conversation started and you like said this? Yeah, in the very beginning, yeah. Okay, so that's, so as the conversation kept going, that's when you stopped assuming she was nine, is that correct? Right. Okay, so it was more like half of it you assume she was nine, then the other half you're like, okay, this is something else, is that correct? Right. Okay. So. What could you possibly want with someone my age? Well, it's always nice to have a new IG friend. So it was basically for just for friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why, why did the uh, conversation escalate into something, into something, let's just say PG-13 with who you at least assumed to be a nine-year-old? I mean, did you get carried away? I, did, I didn't assume that she was that age. I assumed that it was somebody who was older. Okay. Because here you said, I think you don't have any, exp you don't have any experience yet. She says, yes, I don't. And you said, I need to find out probably, I don't know. And then you said, yes, but I like, but like I said, you're only nine. So you were kind of holding back on this talk, it seemed like, because you said here, like, but I said, you're only nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is the reason you didn't get super sexual at first because she was only nine? I suppose. Okay. So let me ask you a question, where is this leading? Uh, we're just trying to legit figure out what's going on here. Like, we're not here to, well, I mean, it, if we didn't think this could be addressed, we wouldn't be here talking to you. Well, sure. Way. Yeah, I mean, am I under arrest? No, absolutely not. So, I mean, who do you guys work for? Well, we're just concerned citizens, but we did come across this, and obviously... So, wait, so you're not law enforcement? No. We don't have any handcuffs or anything like that. However, we do have the messages, and... Well, sure, no, I mean, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was, I'm just curious of... Why? Okay. You look more law enforcement. You look really familiar to me for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I've seen you before. Have I, have I caught you before? No. Uh, well, yeah. I don't know. No, I mean, I mean, you just look familiar. You, I mean, maybe at a feed store or something like that. I mean, you just yeah, look familiar. I don't know. Yeah, he is a veteran, so. Yeah. Okay. See, then you said, don't be sad about being a virgin, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And he said, wish we could post whatever we wanted. All my pics would be naked. When you're older, you will understand. Okay. So basically, at least when you assume she was nine, that's when it was more of just mentions of nakedness, but not really pushing it on her. Okay. So, okay, then you're definitely not me. Not too young yet. Okay, so with Emily, I think it was just a night of conversation. I'm not talking about... Emily's the 11 year old. With Emily, it was just a night of conversations. It didn't, did it go on like Telegram or anything? I mean, I don't even remember who that was, okay. to be honest with you. She was the one that lived in, uh... Okay. Now, does that ring a bell? Yeah, because, yeah, she's like, oh, I'm yeah, I remember that. Okay, okay. And you remember her saying that she was 11, right? To be honest, no. Okay. Well, you remember blocking Emily? I mean, when, when I get to the point to where I know or I, I think that they are fake, that's when I block them. So, okay. let me ask you something. If they were real, what would you have done? If she would have been real? Yes. Nothing. You would have just kept talking to her? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Then you mentioned here my work is. What did you do? In I own a machine shop. Okay, you own a machine shop? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're not. No, I am now. Okay. Because of my. So you don't do that anymore? No. No, All right, I not. No, I was doing jet engine tooling. Oh, for nice. For a while. So you like sell like construction companies and whatnot? No, no, we, we designed and built jet engine tooling uh -huh. for when they repair like the vanes or the turbines. Mm -hmm. so that's, what I, that's what we did. I took that over from my dad. Nice. So here on Instagram to Lisa, you mentioned, do you watch sexual vids? And she says, what you mean? I've never really done that. Does that make me a bummer? So I guess, why'd you ask Lisa if she watches sexual vids? We're just carried away? Curious. Okay. And if she didn't want to see any, you wouldn't have forced it onto her? No. Okay. Because on, I think on Telegram, that's when it went to Lisa, because we have your Telegram too with Lisa. Okay. So Emily, it just stayed on Instagram for like a few hours and then it ended. Is that correct? Man, I guess. Okay. I, 
I, I, I, honestly, I don't pay that close attention to it. Okay. You know, I mean, like I said, once I think it's fake, mm -hmm. you know, I'm done. Got you. And then Lisa, and then Lisa was the one that went to Telegram for a few hours before you blocked. I guess so. Okay. So get back. Come here. Get back. He's fine, man. He's one thing he buys is that dog food right there. All right. For a treat. Okay. Yeah, and then you say here you should be outside playing just being a kid. I just don't I just like meeting new people but don't have much to chat about with a girl your age. Okay. And is that what you've told other girls that are her age over the years? Just I don't have much to chat about with you? Yeah, if I have, yeah. Okay. So typically when there's a young lady under 18 messaging you on Instagram or Telegram, who's the one that messages first? Is it like you or them? Oh, man, I don't know. Okay, it just kind of depends. Yeah, it just depends, yeah. Okay. So I, I guess when, when, did, when did it start, um, when did the following start of young ladies under 18 for you? Like a few years ago you started following them or when was this? I mean, I just do, I mean, if, if I get a request, some of them I'll look, you know, I don't accept, some I do. Okay. Got you. Then you ask Lisa here, do you, and she says, what is again? She says, I think I know, I'm sorry. And you said, you're definitely not ready for sweet girl. Then she says, is it when I play with my and you say yes. So I guess, why are you curious if she or not? Just curious. Okay. I mean, just trying to, trying to figure out, like I said, again, you know, if they're, really who they're saying they are. Mm -hmm. So what, let me ask you something. If it was really who she said she was, what would you have done from there? At that age, I would have went and blocked it. But you blocked her after you, you thought she was fake. Right. But if she was really who she said she was, then you would have kept talking to her? Is that what you're saying? No. I mean, we, I would have kept talking to her, but it wouldn't have been anything Sexual. You were just seeing where she was sexually. Trying right. to teach her well, Sid or something. Trying to what? Like Sid. No, no. I'm just saying. Like I said, there's there's so many people that use that. Hey, I'm, you know, <clears throat> da da da. da yeah. And then once they talk, you know, you, you can kind of tell. Yeah. If they're if they're really who they say they are. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, because because you blocked her after Telegram and on Insta. Catfish. Yes. In in real life, you, you you went to meet somebody who. No, no, not no, not in real life. Oh, yeah, in real life. No. Yeah. I mean, so, I, man, I've, I've talked to people on Instagram. They're like, "Well, where do you live?" And I'm like, "Outside, of really? Where?" And they're like, "Oh, well, I live, you know, on too." Trust because like, well, I've, I've used some dating sites. You know, I've seen some girls. You know, hot blonde. I get there. She's a, she's a blue whale in real life. I gotta go. Well, you know, but I mean, I, I think the last dating site I used was probably Farmers Only, and that's farmers been several, only? yeah several years ago. You didn't find no farmers. <laughs> no, you know, and, mo and, and like on is the only hoe you found in your garage. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I mean, even on here, people, you know, touch you, hey, you know, when they start, and then boom, well. I'm out of groceries. Can you send me money? Right. You, you know, da, 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 da. So I mean, that's why I don't believe who people say they are mm -hmm. on there. Is it because a lot of them say I'm on the same road or ask for money and stuff like that? Oh yeah. Okay. I well, mean, one of them said that they live, you know, like three places down. I'm like, no, man, I lived here so long. I know, I know all my neighbors. Yeah. Are some of those people claiming they live super close? Are they saying like they're under 18 and whatever? Starting out, yeah, some of them. Okay, got you. So if, has anybody messaged you on Telegram, like just hit you up saying, hey, I'm like 14 or some age under 18 before? Mm, no. Okay, it's only been on Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's see, your school will tell you things in health class because we are a nudist family doesn't mean we have to with each other. Yeah, I was very curious about that. So this is like a nudist family here? I know it's well, like- I mean, when me, I am, you know, when I was married before we were. Mm -hmm. um, as far as my grown children, probably not. Probably not, only sometimes. Uh, not even then, I mean, I, I go by myself, you know, when I go. When you go where? To, uh. What's that? It's a nudist resort. 
Okay. Uh, like, have you been in Louis St. James Island? Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah, we're actually filming him for a show called Naked and Afraid, but I guess we're not naked right now. So, no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> so, like, so just because we were a nudist family, so are you married right now? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. So when you were married, it used to be nudist family. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that was, that was your, was that just you and your wife or? It was me and my wife when the kids were little, we would take them. Okay. Got you. So look, and you said just cause we were nudist family doesn't mean we have to with each other. Yeah. And I, I know. So it was more just like, yeah, I, get, I get asked that a lot. On uh -huh. Instagram, and that's, that's a lot of people that send me things is. Okay. So you, so you and you, your wife, and all. So, so your wife and the kids were part of it too. It wasn't just you when you were married. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the little kids. When did they? So when did they start going to? Where the hell is that anyway? How far is that? How many hours is it? It's just right about. Oh, okay. Got you. So when did the kids start going to the nudist colony? Oh, when I mean, they were young, they were uh, diapers. Got you. You know. So what like goes on at? Like what? What is it? Like what even happens in a nudist call? I'm just genuinely curious. Like we can, they got a pool. You swim. Uh, sometimes they have dances, dinners. Oh, cool. You know, and it's, and here again, you know, it's the people that, that send me things. They're like, oh, well, I assume since that's what it is that everybody's having, sex and you know, I've I've never ever seen that happen. Mm hmm. You know, and so. Well, I guess you can put on your business like we're never closed. But um, anyway, um, but I, I have a girl that I, if I have a girlfriend that I definitely want to. Okay, so you haven't been this nudist family in a few years. In a long time. Long time, okay. So then on, so then on Telegram, that's where you went with, that's where you went with Lisa. Um, so I think with Lisa, you got a little bit carried away, safe to say, is that correct? I might have. Okay. Hey, it happens. We're online. I mean, as soon as you told me you weren't married, I'm like, oh, well, that probably explains this then. It probably explains, you know, because it's hard for your 52. Mm -hmm. It's hard for a 52 year old to just find somebody, you know, find some, find a partner just like that. So I understand where that's coming from. So is, is that pretty much what you, what's got, what had you around on Instagram? Oh yeah. Okay. I see. So, so basically with Lisa and Emily, this is more of just out of just looking for somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, as a man, we all get horny and carried away. So is, is that also what happened here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you remember Lisa on Telegram, is that correct, for a few hours? Maybe. Okay. You remember talking to a young lady on Telegram recently, is that correct? Who they said that if that's who they were, yeah. Okay. And that was Lisa. So, so here, this photo and this is mm -hmm. okay this is that yours? Mm -hmm. okay that was you getting carried away yeah. okay so I guess now again you, you didn't meet her so I, I can't like really say much but I guess what in your mind got you so carried away to send that to at least who you assumed to be a nine-year-old what were you thinking there no at, the, at that point I assumed that they weren't okay well what was the point of sending it I guess you could say what was the point of sending it do you, do you often send pics to just random strangers on the internet. Sometimes. Hey, if it happens, sometimes. it happens. A little adrenaline rush. I, I get it. You know, I mean, I sometimes. Think. Right, and you, and you mentioned with the other people, at least saying they were under 18, it was the far this has gone is just exchanging nudes, but nothing else. Is that correct? Okay. So. I did that once I got caught up with these cheerleaders for the Cowboys. Uh, Jerry Jones put out a hit on you, huh? No, but basically I can't go back to the stadium. Oh, okay. Well, okay, so is it, is it safe to say, like, on Telegram, that's when he started to realize, like, hey, this is BS? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, basically, on Instagram, when you mentioned to go to Telegram, so basically, all the, all the at least assuming she was nine, was on Instagram, then on Telegram, that's when it changed for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so this, we have this print on, tele, on Instagram. This is also yours, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what prompted you to, because you just mentioned that you assumed that she was nine, at least on Instagram. So what prompted you to send that one? Because you can't, okay. carried away? Yeah. Okay, just seeing where she was sexually? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm sure it was, I'm sorry that happened, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
So here on Telegram, you say stuff like, you want to see my white stuff is you should get that ready. So then on Instagram as well, um, you said, can I see you in your panties? Okay. That was just, were you gonna like force her to send it or was it just if she wanted to? Just if she wanted to. Okay, so it was more of just a, so you weren't gonna like press her for it or anything like that? No. Okay. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a lot, look, consensual. It's consensual. Yeah. And do, you, do you like keep it consensual with these type of conversations? Mm -hmm. Okay, I appreciate, I appreciate that. Sure. Yeah. All right. And then, you know, on Instagram, that's where you're basically, like you didn't like tell her to show it or anything, but on Instagram, that's where you're explaining where was and everything like that. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Okay. And that was just because the nine-year-old was curious? Like I said, I didn't believe. Well, you mentioned on Telegram is when it's... So I'm, look, I'm not saying on Instagram you told her to come over and have sex or anything like that. But I'm just saying, you know, it was kind of just... Was it more of just probing, kind of seeing where she was? Probing? I, I guess, yeah, I was seeing where she was. And okay. I, Basically trying to see, like I said before, most of them I don't believe they're the age they are. Sure. And by the response that you get from it, you can kind of tell. Okay. So this, so this was more of um. So I, I, th I feel like he's more so just trying to see if they're real. He's just curious. Right. right. So you mentioned that most of them, you know. So there's only been, a f there, so there's only been a few young ladies under 18 that you knew 100% were real. Not even that. Just a little small handful then. Maybe. Okay. And with them, it was again no meeting up or anything. No. Just exchanging nudes. That's it. Not even that. Okay. Where were they from? Oh man, I don't know. Okay. Okay, we can share things that here are very safe, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so to get this straight, basically the exchanging of nudes. I mean, the print was when you assumed she was not because it was on Instagram. So the exchanging of nudes, that's only happened with a few young ladies that claim to be under 18. Yeah, they claim, they claim to be under 18, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And then, you know, once you receive them, you can tell that they're not mm -hmm. that age. What's the youngest someone claimed to be, like when talking to you? I guess it would be the one that said she was nine. Okay, and the other ones would be like 11 or up? Oh, I guess. Okay. And I know you talk to adults too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So it's more of just anybody that hits you up. Right. Okay. Because here you say, have you started puberty yet? Blah, blah, blah. You should look things up if you're curious about it, okay? Then here you say, just play with your it's the most sensitive. When you think you can't do it anymore, just keep going. You And this again was on Instagram. So was this more of just question, the- How did you know that How do you know that? How do I know? How do you know if you keep playing with your that you will? Just people I've been with. Yeah, I think he's had a wife. Yeah, I've had two wives and yeah. several girlfriends. I mean, you're Mormon? Oh, at separate times. Okay, okay. Yeah, separate yeah, times. yeah. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Got you. Okay. Because yeah. I know they believe in playing me. Yeah, Mormons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. When you can't do it anymore, just keep going. So this is more of just being optional for her. You weren't forcing it? No. Okay. But if I have a girlfriend, then I definitely would want to. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So on Telegram, that's when it really got very juicy, I'd say, um, with some stuff. So there's some videos sent from your end that do involve. And look, like I said, it was just videos. You didn't go to meet her or anything because if you... If you actually went to, you know, go meet this girl, that's kind of creepy kidnapping type stuff. You know what I mean? And I know you're not that type of guy. And, you know, I'm sure as you know, there's like hor horrific people on Instagram and Telegram. I'm sure you came across some, haven't oh, yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Like horrific people that, that basically just want to murder people, murder young girls this age. You're not, you're not murderous or anything like that. And I, and I know that. So on Telegram, there were quite a few videos sent, some spanning an hour of, of young, young ladies under 18, blatant young ladies under 18, no, obviously nothing close to anything that looks like an adult, having intercourse with what looks to be adult men. It was, was that you in the videos? No. Okay, so that stuff you sent of that happening was- Things that were sent to me. 
Okay, so that wasn't, so that wasn't, so you, that wasn't produced by you. No. Okay, because look, my goal here is to get the real bad guys. You know, like there's people that get caught up like you, and there's people that are the kingpins. You know, what, what am right now? I feel like I'm talking right, right now. I feel like I'm talking to freaking wear max soldier right now in world war ii but i'm trying to go find hitler you know what i mean sure. so I, I need to know there's i let's be honest i lost count of how many videos were sent hmm. okay is, is it safe to say and i'm just going to call it what it is okay because look again if you didn't produce it i don't care okay if, 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 if you're not the one that produced it i don't care that you sent it okay i care about who produces it mm -hmm. okay so Let's be real. I lost count of the amount of videos of child were sent by you. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was probably dozens, Elisa? Probably. Okay. So I need to know where you get that from. You don't need to show me, but I just need to know, like, who sends it to you? Where do well, you find I mean, it? Well, I would have to show you. Okay, sure. So let me ask you, what mm -hmm. are you going to do with all this stuff? Well, since you've been so openly honest with us, um, you know, I'd rather get the real bad guys. Well, that's, what am I saying? Are you turning this over to the police? Um, again, I have, I have no handcuffs and I'm... Okay, so, yeah, well, I understand you have no handcuffs, but that's not what I'm asking you. I understand. I'm asking you, I've been honest with you, I want yeah. you to be honest with me. Absolutely. So right now, I don't plan on doing anything. I plan on really finding, because look, with how honest you've been, like, you know, I was right. I was right. Obviously, I've done, I've did some digging into you. Okay, I was right. I knew that you're a good guy that got caught up in some things. Okay, so that's why I'm here talking to you. All right. Obviously, we both know the implications of these messages. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So, okay. So, I, I do got to ask Shane. I mean, this is, I mean, there's gigabytes of gigabytes of child on that phone right now, aren't there? No. Where was it sent from then? Your computer? Oh, I mean, I, no, it wasn't sent from a computer. I mean, I, it was sent from, from this phone. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there has to be uh, an hour video of anything. An hour video of your dog walking around is a, more than a gigabyte. Oh, okay, well then, I mean, I don't, Let's I, just, I don't understand all that. Yeah, I know, you have so, gray hair, so, I get so it. So what he's trying to say is the, the child is on your phone, correct? Let's just assume I have it's, people I mean, it's on my, it's on that app. Okay. But I deleted the app, I think, yesterday afternoon, so I'm gonna have to get the app up and do it again. Mm hmm Well, I, I do need you to be honest, okay? Because look, I understand you're a fellow Cowboys fan. This guy, uh, if you if you would have said you were a Giants fan, you probably would have taken your head off, okay? But <laughs> I need you to be honest. Let's just assume that somebody's, that somebody in the gallery, what are they gonna find? Like in my photo gallery? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Are they gonna find a new that shouldn't be there? Uh, here's, there, I mean, you're more than welcome to look through my photo gallery. Okay. There's, I think, three or four pictures of a new oh, woman that okay. sent me from Instagram. Okay, well, this this right here, this this right here is a, what, this is, that's, this, child. that's, okay, this is a, that's a five-year-old, that's like a five-year-old girl getting her out. On that? Yeah. yeah. Where? Go play it up. How do you open it? Uh, look at this. Let me see this, sir. Okay, that, that's a kid, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're right. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, I get you. Just put your phone up, please. I don't want to see any more. I, so, I need to know where was where that sent to you from? That's what I'm trying to... Either for you guys. Telegram. Okay. Yeah. Here, before we get, hey, 
I know it's not the most flattering thing. You got cameras in your face. You got this crazy mofo talking to you right now. I appreciate your honesty, okay? I genuinely do. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not flattering, but hey, you're a man. Okay, and I appreciate that. Does anybody else know about this? No, sir. Okay. Yeah, your, your daughter-in-law was pretty damn shocked. So, I mean, look at me. I, I saw where they came from. Is it fair to say y'all both exchanged them? The only thing that I've sent them is things that other people have sent me. Right, so you don't produce any? No. Okay, so it's more of like child hot potato? Right. Okay, so you sent child to others that you did not produce? Correct. Okay. To him and to him. Okay, so. So you probably have really ones, ones that he sends me, I would send him and vice versa. Would okay. You, would you say you have you know, maybe thousands of images, videos? No. No. Hundreds. Hundreds? The, the only ones that I have is that one that you saw. Right. And then... What it's just the rest of the crap the within, I, within I, the messages. Whatever is under their... I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, because uh, when, when I clicked on that, right. there were like, several images like that. What is that? Uh, you can click on it. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's so that's, who's that from? That's a, a preview Yes. Who, who's that from? From okay. the hens. And do you know them personally? No, I do not. Okay. So that's probably like an eight-year-old girl right there. Yeah, very young looking. All right. Um, maybe seven. Hey, I appreciate it so far, man. But you can, you can put it up, man. Okay. So, look. Obviously, you're a family man, okay? You own a business, all right? There's been some times before you've been caught up in some mm -hmm. that shouldn't get into, all right? So I need, I need to ask, I know that didn't start a year ago, okay? Maybe Telegram started a year ago, but all of this is something you kept hidden, isn't it? Stuff like this? Yes, it is. Okay, so I need to know when did this whole attraction start to young ladies under 18? Was it in high school, a little bit after? Because it's been going on for decades. After. A little bit after high school. Mid-30s. Mid-30s, okay. So when, what was the catalyst to start it? Because there wasn't Telegram or iPhones yet. Man, I really don't know, to be honest with you. You just started being into... Like, look, I know you weren't born this way, and you, you don't like being this way, do you? No. Okay, and I, and I, I don't know that. I know that. There's people, there's people, probably some of the mother texting right there, that love it. That's, that's, look, that's. Oh, my, yeah, yeah, my, no, 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 of course, no, I know, but like, on Telegram, mm -hmm. there's people that love it, Steve. I mean, you've been in some of those Russian groups. I've, I've seen some pretty nasty things. Yes. Right. There's, those people produce that. Did you leave those Russian groups? Yes, I did. Okay, so you were in there, you saw what was going down, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, there's, if I, if I don't like it. You leave. If it's forced, if it yeah. is, then I'll leave. You've so, seen some. You have, you have ethics, at least. Right. You seem like an ethical guy. It, it, seems like, it seems like you just have this thing eating at you, but you don't like it. That's what makes you ethical about, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so in those, some of those groups you've been in on Telegram, and I for sure know you're not into that stuff, but people have sent stuff as young as infants in there, haven't they? Yes, I've, I've seen some of that stuff. Yeah. Like infant? Mm -hmm. Right. And I, that's, that I don't, I don't agree with. Right. So when was the first time, and I'm not saying you have it on your, I know you don't have it on your phone, I'm not even going to ask to check. When was the first time you inadvertently saved infant and got rid of it? Infant? Yeah. I don't think I've ever saved any of it. What about toddlers the first time? No. 
So it's only been like eight and up maybe? Yes. Okay. So that's, that's good to know because you've run into men that are into infants on there, I'm sure. Yes. Oh yeah. So now I got to ask if this has been going on for a decade or two. I know you've been carried away quite a few times online, all right? Mm -hmm. And I know that there have been obviously nudes exchanged with you and young ladies over eight, under 18. I'm over two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was about this girl that was mentioned. I believe your daughter. You mentioned you mentioned your preferred age, or I'm sorry, that your your lowest age is seven to eight. Is that correct? That you would even look at. I, I prefer puberty age. Puberty age, so like 13, 14? Yes. Okay. So seven, eight, it's more of a rarer thing? Very much. Okay. So your daughter, look, I know, I know damn well, like you're probably not proud of this, but when she was seven years old, it was mentioned that that's when touching started. I know it wasn't intercourse or anything like that, but Okay. How old is your daughter now? She's 22. I know. So I got a hold of her, man. Mm -hmm. I got a hold of her. Look, I know you're not proud of it happening. I'm not saying you went every day and just, you know, I'm not saying you're or anything like that. My daughter? No, I'm not saying you did that. No. I, I've never touched my daughter in my life. Right. So mention seven when she started, it's perfectly natural. The first time when I kind of touched and played with it was seven, eight, I think, too. So, look, I had that talk with her, okay? It's easy to get a hold of her. It was easy to find where you live. It's easy to get a hold of her, too. She's 22. Mm -hmm. More 22-year-olds on social media than 52-year-olds. So, you mentioned in your mid-30s, and 15 years ago she was seven. 15 years ago you were 37. When this started for you, I believe you got a little bit carried away, all right? With my daughter? With somebody. I've never touched my daughter. Never. Okay. So it was also mentioned, I believe it's your granddaughter. Who, who, who's your, your daughter? Is the, who's the one working on the ladder on your Instagram? That's my great niece. Okay. So you mentioned with her too, and I talked to your niece and your daughter. I talked to those two. I'm not saying you went and met up with anybody off the internet and done this stuff. I'm not saying you met, met a kid off the internet and did anything. Probably because you don't want to hurt them. Has all the internet stuff been a fantasy for you? Yes. Okay. But Even as far as my great niece, I've never touched my great niece. It was mentioned that guys go to together as nudists starting at a very young age. So they may have been raised differently. It may have not been conventional stuff like and you mentioned it happened naturally so I don't I don't believe I don't you're not the type of guy to force yourself onto anybody but I believe you edu probably educated your daughter about it I did not get Wh to see my daughter from the age of five until she was 19 why is that because of my ex-wife, she put a restraining order against me and the kids. Did she accuse you of doing some stuff? Yes. Okay. Of my niece. Mm hmm Not my great niece, but my I guess my great niece's mother. Yep. Yeah, and they've been out here. They've stayed with me here. They've stayed with me when I lived in that greenhouse down there. I've never touched my great niece. Okay, so you got accused with your daughter and your great niece? I never got accused of my daughter. I've never done anything with my daughter. Okay, so you mentioned you haven't seen, so you didn't see your daughter from five to 19, is that correct? Correct. Okay, and that's because your ex-wife accused you of doing something with her. My ex-wife accused me of posing as a police officer and told when the police came and arrested me for that, they talked to them, because I, I said, you know, it's gotta be my ex-wife. And 
you know, she put a restraining order on me to keep me away from the kids. Couldn't see them. And then after I got out of jail from that. How long were you in jail for that for? for I mean, just as, as far as serving time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, I, fi I finally did three years. Okay. And that was in 2015. Okay. So you got out in 2018? Yes, sir. Um, you know, and I mean, even the person that my great niece that supposedly did all this wrote emails, letters, stating that no, it never happened. So someone accused you with your great niece then? No, with my niece. Okay, with your niece. Right. Okay. And I had probation and I kept screwing off my probation. So I finally got went, sent to prison. What did they accuse you of with your great, with your niece just sir? Touching. Touching, okay. Mm -hmm. Where in the Just boobs and yeah. Okay, how old was she yeah. at the time they accused you? 16 is what they said. Okay. As far as touching my daughter or my great niece or anybody else for that matter, Never happened. Okay. So you did mention your preferred age was 13, 14. So look, there's no way you get accused of this so many times and you didn't get carried away one time. If this has been happening in your mind, at least for about 20 years, look, nobody's, yeah, no, nobody's perfect. Yeah. Nobody's perfect though. We all do stuff. We all, every single one of us here has done something that they regret. Okay. I'm sure if you could go back in time, and reverse what happened between you and her. I'm sure you would. Truly, I do. I don't think you're- For age 13, 14, she was 16. Mm -hmm. Did she come on to you? No. So what happened? And nothing happened sexually between us. Did she try no. anything to you? No. Okay, why are they saying you touched her? Man, it's, just, it's a long story. You wanna tell it? No. Okay. No, I mean, it's, it's just a long story. So whose fault was that? It, there, there's a lot of family that was involved with it. My sister was involved with it. Like I said, there's emails that were sent that even my attorney said, if we would have had these before we went to court, we never would have been here. Right. So did you go to criminal court for mm -hmm. getting accused of doing that? Yes. Okay. Did you, what did they charge you with? Okay. So you're on the registry? Yes. Okay. So, so that was for that, okay? That was for your 16-year-old niece? That you're on the registry for? Yes. Okay. So did your niece come out and say, did your niece falsely accuse you? Yes. Okay. So and like I said, there's letters now, and there's even emails that were saved. Okay. But if your niece... And like I said, I did talk to her. Your niece came out and said it herself. You have hundreds of images of child on your phone. Look, you're not somebody that's born as this horrible monster, and you're still not this horrible monster, but you're somebody with, obviously, someone that gets carried away too much. I don't know if it's being short out here. I don't know what it is. But you're somebody that's been carried away. You look. There's people like Dahmer. That, there's, all these, there's a lot of people. There's probably Grandpa down the street that gets their rocks off every single day doing some of their family members. You know there's those types of people out there, don't you? I'm not saying you're that type of guy, but I am saying you're somebody, as everybody here is, that slipped up maybe a handful of times over the course of thousands of days. A year, 17 years, 18 years, 20 years, that's thousands of days, about 10,000 days. That's, you've slipped up a few times, as is everybody. Your slip up just happened to be something like this. Hmm. So look, again, I'm not saying you force yourself onto anybody, but, and I'm not saying it's happened multiple times. Maybe you were just carried away. Maybe you, your hormones were in the wrong place. What happened? Like, why did you, what, what prompted you to just put your hands on her breasts? Like I told you, I didn't put my hands on her breasts. Okay. And I, I understand your reason for not Believe me, I understand that completely. No, and I understand why you're not telling the truth about it, man. Man, I mean, I even passed lie detectors. Right, but if this, but why, they 
accuse you of doing this, and then a few years later, you get caught with child on your phone of people as young as eight years old. Right. I, I it's just not adding up, man. I understand what you're saying. It's just not adding up. Again, I don't think you'd do anything if it wasn't mutual. I mean, was she the one that initiated it? There was nothing that was initiated. Okay. I mean, again, in, when you had your first kid at 30 years old, 30, right? I had my first child when I was 22. Okay. Is your, your first kid with your new wife was when you were 30? About that, yes. Okay. So about the time that you started becoming attracted to said young ladies under 18, that's when you started going to the nudist colony with them. The timelines add up. So when they were very young, so you had it at 30, five years old, that's smack dab in your mid 30s. That's when you start going to the nudist colony with, in your words, that's when you had started having this attraction to young ladies under 18. So I'm having a very hard time believing that there hasn't been one time where either they came on to you, where it was a little bit of a slip up, even just a kiss or something like that, that happened. Because look, if I truly believed you were, I would, <laughs> I wouldn't be here talking to you. But do I believe that you put your hands in maybe what some would call the wrong place? Yeah, not only do I believe it, I know it. Because those people, I talked to all of every single one of them. I got a hold of every single one of them. And they all, and they all told me what lines up with here, what lines up in the court records. Because look, you've been mostly honest, and now when it gets to truly regret, I understand why you're not being honest. But look, I knew you were on the registry this whole time, okay? Mm -hmm. I was seeing where you were gonna go with the honesty, okay? Mm -hmm. I was, and you were that honest, but look, I get the nervousness, I get him being there, I get me being here, but God damn, this is eating at you alive and looking in your eyes. I mean, if you had, if you had a little kid here again, would you do it? No. Is that in the past now? Well, for one, I'm, as long as I've been a diabetic, uh -huh. you know, things, things happen, and I mean, I, I don't even need a reason for it. Sure. Now, as far as if I had somebody here around me, no. Right. I think you're probably past it, and I think that's a past you're not too proud of, but God damn it, this isn't about their honesty or my honesty. This is about your honesty. I just need to know, because again, what did I tell you in the beginning? I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for that whoever the hell his name is. I'm looking for that neck beard with the fat ass wife of his. I'm looking for them. I'm not looking for you. But like anything else, you know the Wizard of Oz, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta go through people to get to the wizard. Right. And you just happen to be one of the people that I have to go through. Mm -hmm. So again, I need to know this stuff. Because I'm not here to judge you for it, okay? Because look, I've done some things to family members I'm not proud of. Maybe not the exact same thing, but when it comes to breaking a wrist or hitting someone in the nose, yeah, I've done some stuff I'm not proud of either. Mm. And I'm never gonna do it again. Never, it's never gonna occur to me to do it again. But, God damn it. I mean, your arms are crossed, are kind of quivering a little bit. I, I know that look, man. I, well, I mean, I'm scared, man. I mean, I'll tell you that. I know. You know. It's not something. It's not something that you're proud of, dude. And look, no, it's definitely not. If if I didn't think that we were gonna get through this and get this resolved, because after this, I don't think you're gonna talk to an underage kid online ever again. No, I'm I'm gonna delete my Instagram and everything else, and I'm but I'm done with it. Exactly. And look, I'm trying to understand you so I can get a better understanding of the people that go out and meet these kids and do this stuff and actively go after their family members and do horrible things to them. Because if I can understand someone that got carried away like you, I can probably understand pure evil better. I'm looking to your eyes, I don't see pure evil, but I do see someone that's got, that's got a little bit carried away, that's not being completely truthful. But I need to understand you so I can understand the true, true, true evil The people you're texting on Telegram, those are some evil man. Evil They need to be thrown into the dirt. You, you do agree with me? Yes, I do. Right. And you're not that guy. Because, goddamn, throwing into the dirt, we have four people. We have combined 1,200 pounds right here. I don't believe you need to be thrown. I'm, again, I'm not. Again, you know, I don't believe that about you because, you know, if they were in front of me, <laughs> you know, there'd be no cameras. Okay? So.
I need to understand why did that why did this stuff happen with your daughter at this young age? Which is why. I'm not telling you again, and I know that I understand that you're telling me you don't believe me. Nothing has ever happened with my daughter. Okay. So your niece then, your number is three, four. Why did it happen? Man, that didn't happen either. When when all this stuff came down, me and my wife were having problems, but she was involved with other women. Mm -hmm. And part of that was me too, because I wanted, you know, my wife with another woman. Mm -hmm. Well, when it finally all came down, it wasn't good because, you know, I wouldn't interrupt mine because my wife left me for her best friend. Mm -hmm. And for her best friend. Yeah. What well, female? A female. Okay. Yes. Yes. A female. And I mean, I had a real big problem with that. And you know, all of a sudden, I, I was living in Missouri. I'm back. I wasn't here two weeks. Oh, where in Missouri? I have friends that went to West Plains. Where's that at? Uh, southeast. Okay. Missouri. Okay. Yeah, I have friends that went to Mizzou. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Columbia. But, but anyway. They arrested me for impersonating a police officer, but I pulled over a lady uh, up on Quebec in 287. You, you pulled know? over a lady? No, I did not. Oh, okay. No, I did not. So you didn't do anything? No, no, they, they dismissed all those charges. They did? Yes. Well, at the time so it happened, I said, you up? That's exactly what this all gotcha. was. That's what I'm saying. I've got the email. Oh, I don't have so the you email. Had a good, so somebody set you up with this whole police officer deal? And somebody sets you up with the, the uh, touching of your daughter. Because the, because the police officer. Why do they keep setting you up? Because my ex-wife wanted me out of her life and out of my children's life. So she did she con she did this with the police department. No, she, she, she set you they, up. They did. They filed reports that weren't true. But when when they said that I pulled the lady over here in Fort Worth, I was in Missouri. I actually had eye surgery that yeah. day. Uh, they say it happened again, but I did it in Missouri that time. Well, when that happened, I was actually here visiting yeah. my mom. So you had an alibi? Yes. Yes. Right. And so, you know, uh, Judge Westfall dismissed those charges, and then two days later, boom, I get arrested again for. Got you. There's good arrest. Okay. So. You got arrested two days later? When did they accuse you of doing that? How many days before that? So it was two days after. Yeah. Right, but did they accuse you that day of doing it? Did they call the cops on you the day they accused you of doing it? Or did the niece come to them and say something? No. Uh, my niece was... In her 20s. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so she came out years later and said that? Yes. Okay. So how come they found you guilty? Her but testimony? They, no, but they, they offered a plea deal and I took it for probation. Okay, so you didn't go to jail for that? No. Okay, but that's what landed you on the registry? Yes. Okay. And then I kept screwing off my probation. What did you do? Not following what I should have been doing. Go on the internet? No. No, but go on the internet, just, um, you know, just, just not following their rules. Basically, leaving doing, county? Not being home when I was supposed to be home. Okay. Uh, you know, things of that nature. Gosh. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it happened once and they extended my probation and I did it again. And at that point, the judge was like, mm -hmm. Did, did they accuse you of another crime in that time? No. Okay. So what prompted you in the first place to start talking to underage kids online? I guess a fantasy. The fantasy of that attraction? Just a fantasy world. Because like I said, I mean, most of them I figure they're not that age. Right. Right. But again, you know, the following list is still 
at least all kids that look that age. Sure, I understand. Right. So whether whether they are that age or not, you just if they're into it, you exchange news and that's it. Mm. Okay. So I mean, does your I mean, there's a, there's like a little kid over there. I remember you sending a picture of that little kid. Mm, this one here, dude. Right. You sent her to Lisa. I don't know how true this one is, but you did say at least to Lisa. I don't know if this is a fantasy either. That's your grandbaby. It never happened. I was just talking to. So let me ask you this: Why would you say that? Just to see the reaction. See the reaction. Mm -hmm. Do you kick out of people's reactions or what? Six stuff like that give you a kick. No. Entertainment. Yeah, I mean, it's just to see what people will say. See what they say? Mm -hmm. I get that. You ever just go to the grocery store, just talk to random people? I'm say, hey, my, my, my grandniece, no. the reaction? No. Try that for a prank video. No. You never dress up like as a fake black guy and go up and ask a girl's numbers or anything like that in <laughs> the grocery store? No. What about a fake cowboy? Like you, you got a cowboy hat right there. Yeah, you never wear like you never wear like a cowboy hat and just uh, you know claim your name like name like Chester or something and just okay. you ask all the fair questions. Here. Okay, you ever dress up as a uh, I don't know like a pickup artist and say hey me I'm like Rego Gallagher or something like that. And, Got to be sure. Great questions. Okay. Just to confirm, that this is your telling right here. That you are. Are you vaccinated, by the way? COVID vaccinated. Okay. Boosted. Boosted. No. No, just two shots. Okay. So you're like a you're like a midway conspiracy theorist. I wouldn't say I'm a conspiracy theorist. No. Yeah, I mean, is there a reason you're not following? As of what? I mean, <laughs> if, you, if, if you're not boosted, you're pissing off. <laughs> you're pissing off somebody like Bill Gates. Yeah. And Joe Biden. We're nothing compared to them. Uh, well, I mean, that, man, that's Dr. Fair. Fauci. I, 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 you know, I got the shots because my doctor said. Your I doctor said. Did. Was it Dr. Fauci? No. You probably got the message from Dr. Fauci. Did you get Pfizer or Moderna? Moderna. Okay. Moderna again. Yeah. Moderna. I got Moderna. Yeah, I got one Pfizer, one Moderna. Were you marching for Black Lives Matter? Do what? Were you marching for Black Lives Matter? No. Why not? Do you not believe that they matter? Certain sure, lives matter, but I don't have to go to school. Did you, you donate? Did you donate to Ukraine? No, I have not. You haven't done that yet. Did you um, did you march to the pride parade? No. Why not? Man, that's that's their thing. If they want to do that, they can do that. What about the? They just had a Latin, Latinx uh, rally as well. Did you go to that in Dallas? Okay. So you're not too progressive. No. Okay. Well, why is that? Are you, did you vote for Trump? Yes, I did. Okay. So do you ever go up to like maybe someone like him and just and just wield your shotgun? No. Well, I don't have to get anyway. Oh, because you're a felon? Right. Okay. Can't do that. If I hunt, I bow hunt. Oh, did you bow hunt? How does that work? <clears throat> bow? Like a, like you get an actual bow and arrow? Yeah, and an arrow. Is it like a crossbow or just an actual? I got a bow. Okay, so you have a crossbow. So you're a Christian? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, hey, all these crosses around here. What do you, um, what do you think? Your punishment here on earth is going to be from God for this. I have no idea. That's, that's when you get there and face him, then. Well, you know, God, you know, if you're a true believer, God's going to punish you here on earth. So, what do you think your punishment's going to be? I have no idea. Do you think you should? Do you think you deserve a punishment? For things I've done in the past? Yeah. So, how is it? Everyone is seeing. You know, I mean, it's a, a sin is a sin. No, so, so if you steal a pencil and go kill 20 people, same thing, right? Same yeah, punishment? I'm just telling you, it, it says in the Bible that sin is a sin. And love, and love that neighbor, too. Well, the, the only unforgivable sin is denying Christ. Well, actually, the only unforgivable sin is blaspheming the Holy Spirit. 
Do you, you read, you read the Bible? The Bible? Okay. But you know, Jesus did tell uh, Pontius Pilate that uh, those who brought him to Pontius Pilate have the greater sin. Wait. Jesus met a pilot in that time? <laughs> the Roman, the <laughs> Roman governor. Oh. Yeah. So, you the know. one that gave him up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Remember who gave him up? To Pontius Pilate? No. Uh, one of his disciples. Oh. Yeah. Um. Did you have anything else? Um. Yeah, I just uh, got. A, I had Pablo go. Uh, so yeah, uh, I better. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually there. You know who they are? Probably. Yeah. Do you need a car? Sure. Hey, uh, where you at? Oh, okay. 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 Well, um, honestly, honestly, what? Honestly, I was just doing my Joe Biden impression. I just stopped mid sentence. I was just doing an impression of that because I figured, like, you know, with two people that, you know. But anyway. Um, yeah, so, uh, god damn. Nice so, Biden, huh? nice, you're doing really good with the Biden impression. Uh, yeah. You didn't turn around and shake the ball's hand. Yeah, no, I was playing talking to you, Steve. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, okay, so I, I think we should at least let, let your daughter-in-law know what's going on, at least. Just, you know, I don't mind sugarcoating what's on the phone, but just say, hey, you made a mistake here. I think we should let her know. Well, I think you should let me take care of that. If you, I mean, if you don't mind, because I would rather do it when my son is home. How old's your son now? He's 30. Okay, 30. Do you think, um, we should talk to you? I prefer that you didn't. Would you rather prefer for your daughter in law? No, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, we don't okay. have to. No, no, gotcha. It's totally up to you. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Yeah, but. Um, no, I, I, I will tell her. I just want to get consent from you. Yeah. I, I will tell you, or tell her why you guys can't. Gotcha. Right okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you like cook at all? Mm -hmm. I, I, Jeff, if I remember correctly, did, was that posted on your Instagram, you cooking? Could be. Yeah, do you cook steaks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn. Okay. Use one right now. I'm just like really nice. Hat. You should probably use it. Yeah. Do y'all like do y'all like water in the do y'all like water in the fridge? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Appreciate it. Am I gonna get one? Go. Okay. But there's not one there. There's not some of them. Water here. Okay. Yeah. Here. So. Cowboys will live. Oak Farm water. How they made milk. They did. They got. That's they are. They do. Yeah. I don't know if they make water in black buffet. Oh. What's a dog name? Stoic. Yeah, what kind of dog is it? It looks like a... He's a border collie. Yeah. Border collie? Mm -hmm. Shut it off. Yeah. Well, um, how many acres is this right here? This one. Oh, when did you get this house? Uh, just uh, March. I used to live down here in this greenhouse, but I lived down in that greenhouse for probably 15 years. Oh, so the owner passed on and then you came in here. Mm -hmm. Did they like let you inherit it in land? Oh. Oh, you paid? Mm -hmm. How much? I paid fourteen dollars. Wait, oh you rented? Yes. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Paid fourteen hundred for this house? Jesus oh, Christ. I was gonna have to move in next to you, man. <laughs> this land that cheap there. But um But yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm glad I'm glad you were honest, you know, oh, he's, how old? Uh, he's five now. Five? Oh. He thinks he's a lap dog. Oh, he thinks he's a lab? Lap dog. Oh, lap dog. <laughs> yeah, you're becoming his best friend by doing that. Oh, I was about to say, like, uh... Usually he leans into you and... Yeah, 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 my parents have three dogs. I was about to say, like... You've been identified as a lab dog. That wouldn't be the most extreme thing nowadays. <laughs> but 
Here. Hey, what's up? Dude, okay. You want to get some pickle yeah, after this? Cute. Okay. Like, alright, you're gonna eat the right come scoop us? Alright. Tampering with your yeah, phone you would be tampering with evidence, so just don't delete anything. Yeah, you don't want to double the felonies. All right. I'll go talk to him. All right, you probably just walk over now. Yeah. I got to take my stuff out of my mouth. Okay. Well, Steve, I, I can't let you delete anything, man. I don't want to delete anything. Am I leaving your phone right here? Yes, sir. in the house. He doesn't have any weapons on him, but uh, yeah, just don't let him, don't let him delete anything. Oh, and these are his printouts here, Foxy kids. You know he's not going down without five, right? <laughs> he's a cowboy. He's got his BB gun. Dude, I know, man. Dude, when I said it, I want to, I wish I could, I wish I could unseed that child. Yes, sir. 